Now, Psyonix just released the Rocket Pass number 6 with the new Season 14, and I must say that we just got the single best goal explosion to ever exist in Rocket League. This thing doesn't look too great in its vanilla color, but I have to show you what happens when you turn this thing titanium white. It is insane. I can't wait to get one myself. Now, let's get right into the 1v1 games. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you in the video. All right, our first game, we got Fowler. I can't wait to score. <laughs> I'm so excited. Should be able to go for this right away. Might be just fast enough. It's gonna be a lot of space here. I'm gonna try to air dribble bump. Oh! Okay, it's fine. He jumped really early though. Oh, almost. Good save. He's pretty low here. I just gotta stay with him. There we go. He's really low. Let's push up with the wall here. Cool. Oh, what a lift. So I'm not really sure what ranks these people are. Uh, so I'm just trying to get a gauge on how his defense is. And his speed. Nice. Good save. Should be just fast enough. He has like no boost. There we go. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know why it does it, but it, it, it makes the, the bark black and the leaves white. It looks so cool. I'm sure on full settings it would look even crazier. Alright, I could have just scored right there, but see he does with that. There we go. Interesting. Uh buddy, your net's open. <laughs> I don't want to just score that though. Ah. Uh, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I might put settings on uh full for a second in training just to show you guys what it looks like. Sick, sick way to start the season. <laughs> I'm not here to like completely try hard and smash in, in 1v1s at the beginning of the, at the season, but nice save. Cause I'm not really sure what ranks they give you at the start. Oh, it's panicking. This might be this guy's first, first match of the season, just like mine. So since we're both 0-0 zero, zero in the placements, he could be anywhere from probably diamond to obviously grand champion. So there we go. He's a little bit too far far away from the ball to be able to make a good play. So attacking there early is really good. Look at that! Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's so good. I don't use full settings in game though if I'm playing competitive because uh, it does add a bit of input lag. It's a little bit harder to play with. Actually, not gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the boost first. There we go. Good save. So we awkward. Just give me the ball again. I missed the boost. No, that was dumb. Misplayed on the boost. If I got the boost, it would have been fine. Basically, just pass on the ball. It's no big deal though. go what am I doing it's really bad defensive pop I should be able to just turn this in there we go oh that might be just enough oh he didn't go I, <laughs> I thought he was gonna go so I tried to back off and get out of his defense but not too bad of a start Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, 
the ranked videos right now, I've been working on a few maps lately, and I don't know if you guys have been seeing my stream, but I am working on a new hide and seek map. It's almost done. I'm really excited for this one because it's really kind of a cool vibe. It's like a villa house in the middle of, I don't know, it's not like a villa house, it's more like a, some sort of conference building or something, and then uh, there's construction around the outside. A boost. All right, I'm really excited for that one. I have a few others that are coming in. Oh, I missed the missed the net. There we go. Just gonna keep chasing. I'll just take the boost again. Block them. Faking this. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the new maps coming out. If you guys saw, I was also working on uh, Catan, the board game, uh, which I have kind of put a bit of a break on that. There we go. Um, just because <clears throat> I have other things that I, I have planned that I could finish a lot faster than if I was to do the Catan board, just because board making a board game is basically like, you have to basically kind of program the whole thing. Got myself a second match here. We got four in tragedy. I've played this guy before, actually. He's a pretty good player. We'll see how it goes. Could have just scored right there. I want to try a musty click, though. Nice. Perfectly executed. Not as high as I wanted it to be, but it did work out. There we go. Double tap this off the wall. I kind of missed it though. Rip. You do be missing the net. Oh, that was a really good block. I I, I thought he would go uh, just because of how he was turning before. That's why I knew he would challenge. So I tried to get just an advantageous block to keep the ball in my possession. He went left last time. Good. I'll land back on the wall and wave dash. See if I can get this boost first. I did get the boost, so he's a little bit low after wasting all that boost. So smart of him to grab the corner before he challenges. Could have probably just went for that. Oh, he left the ball. Good save. Ooh, what a pinch. I'll probably go off the wall with it. It's fine. Let's see what he does with this. So that's pretty easy to read. If you see him not boosting for a little bit. I did not mean to do that. I meant to I meant to flip, but I ran out of ran out of my flip there. Um if you see someone not boosting for a little bit there, they're probably baiting you. Oh. Give me space here, but. I didn't want to challenge too heavily there, because if I do, I'll be stuck in a situation where I won't be able to recover. So I always make sure that I put myself in a position where I can still get back. There we go. <clears throat> so if you find yourself low boost on their half, a lot of times you'll get scored on if you just overcommit. So just be a little bit careful with your decision making on the final challenge. So getting a good 50-50 into a Either a loss where it's still safe to go for, or uh, oh, them. That was that was kind of toxic. <gasps> Not gonna lie. Uh, either like a 50/50 that you lose to the corner, or that you win so that you give yourself space to just move back and get boost. Either one works. There we go. Really good solid contact. It's actually kind of underrated. Uh, the contact speed that you can get on that. Maybe just save a bit of boost off kickoff. But a lot of people have learned that nowadays in ones. So I should have time here because we got the corner boost. I'm just gonna touch that once because he's backwards. I should be able to push this down the field now. There we go. This still looks so pretty. I love how it like the leaves kind of go everywhere. 
Yeah, this is probably my favorite rocket pass so far. Uh, just because of the goal explosions. The, uh, the rad rock looks pretty cool too. That is unfortunate. There we go. I'm kind of low boost though. So this is the kind of challenge I'm talking about where it's like a bit of an overcommit. Grab these few pads here. It's a good shot. Really good placement. I definitely should have pushed him on the first pop, but I was too afraid of an immediate like high pop that I couldn't reach. So kind of a misplay on my part, but works out. There we go, just a bit of a fake. Had him in a really good position on the sidewall there. I just can just wait for him to come challenge me and then let go of the ball. There we go. Go for a ceiling shot here. Oops. Oh, he couldn't make it. Sorry about the, the call drop. <laughs> I think Clyde was telling me that my uh, Discord call was waiting for five minutes there. I was in a chat with somebody. That was a pretty good second game. <laughs> All right, we've got Luby LFT. What a name. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to document the entire road to uh, Grand Champion and then also uh, road to rank one, maybe. Uh, I really wanted to explore 1v1 this next season. I just passed on the ball. I think I can definitely do it if I play smart. Not like I just did there. We'll see if I can uh, get back into the 1v1 games. Let's let him panic first. I'll take the ball here. I'll pop it over him. Let's play a game of keep away. It's fine. I don't want to overcommit on that challenge. There we go. They pushed out really, really far on the on the uh, left side there of the field. I'm not sure exactly why. I think he maybe thought I was going corner for boost, but if you just grab 25 to or 24 to 36 there and then cut it in, you can keep pressure, stay with the ball. Since the ball did bounce back mid, I have to stay with the ball here. Stay in front. Good challenge. Oh, I bumped him, but it's still going to be a goal. Really bit bad overcommit by me. I started that air dribble pretty poorly with the first touch, so I should have backed out and just like tried to regain control. But I'm just trying to be flashy. That was a weird kickoff by him. I tried to adjust to what he was doing. I'm gonna go immediately, see if he reacts. Oh, the ball bounced. I gotta get used to that little like, whenever the ball rolls uh, or spins. Interesting. Oh, he didn't touch. It's fine. I tried to try to react to his touch, but he didn't uh, actually touch the ball. There we go. Good challenge. There's the finish. Very nice. Hope you guys are doing all right at home, though, uh, just because we are <laughs> all stuck at home for quite a while. But I'm doing my thing. I'm trying to keep. Uh, Try to keep active. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare as well uh, with some friends. Just to stay entertained. Also, we bought a hammock and a bench swing for our backyard <laughs> to try to have like a bit of a staycation if we can. You know, have a fire. Uh, we just don't have much firewood left. That's the only problem, actually. I'm just thinking about that. There's that snipe at that corner again. So yeah, you can get really, really good power off those corner kickoffs. Yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are holding up. Uh, Shannon is actually out getting a couple supplies right now. Oh, that's a good shot. He might be in. Um, a couple supplies right now, like cat food, whatever else. He might be able to save it. Oh, close. We We're starting to do online groceries, but... Uh, everyone is doing that, so the delivery date for our set of groceries is next week. I think Monday. There we go. Yeah, so we've got to wait until Monday the 
the 30th, which is just super far away. Also, sorry if my voice isn't exactly the same. I'm still getting over whatever I just contracted. Either it was a flu, uh, you know, the, the name we shall not speak of, <laughs> or uh, a cold, one of the three. I don't know, my throat's been really killing me. There we go, far corner. Perfect. Yeah, we're just, just trying to get over a few illnesses here. Headaches, all that stuff. It's important to stay hydrated when we're staying at home so much. Like, even though I work from home, I guess if you consider this work, uh, I would consider it work. It's a lot of work, actually. I, I kind of find, I've said this a lot, if you guys know me well, uh, that engineering was easier for me, I found. At least especially when I was playing competitively. Maybe not so much anymore. But yeah, let's see if I can go off the ceiling here. I'm not going to reach it. I needed that little bit of boost left to make a play, but... Boop. Oh, he didn't challenge that very well. I think he went off the ceiling of the goal. I forgot what I was talking about, honestly. And uh, that's what also worries me is that I've actually been doing that a lot lately, which one of the symptoms is confusion. <laughs> so me getting over the sickness and still doing daily videos, it's been quite difficult because sometimes I'm recording like by myself. It helps when I'm with people, but sometimes when I'm by myself, I'll just like zone out or like I'll be commentating and then I just, my brain just gives up on talking through the games, which is really weird. Never done that before. Oh my god, I'm doing it again. I almost did it again right there. I just stopped talking. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just so bad. Like it literally just I literally just talked about it. It's a decent chip by him, but he brought it in a little bit too fast. Yeah, just I'm trying to keep up with the daily videos. It's really, really hard. I know you guys do appreciate it, so I appreciate you guys sticking around. Decent 50 50 by him, but he did land that pretty poorly. I'm gonna go early on this because he's pushing on it. Good challenge. I'll keep my speed up here. Oh, oh I tried to block him. Good 50. Should be able to score that too. Very nice. But yeah, I'm curious to see if you guys like the uh, the 1v1 journey. Uh, see if I can go for rank 1 uh, on my downtime. Other than that, I'm making a lot of maps right now. So I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, that was smart. Pop it over him, see if I can stay with this. That was... The weakest musty flick I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, with this this game coming to a close here, I hope you guys do enjoy the videos. Um, let me know. Let me know if you guys have, have any other ideas in the comments for maps. I have Katana Rocket League, uh, Battleship, Cornhole. <laughs> uh, I've got a Wave Race map that I showed you guys a long time ago on my on my Twitter. Actually, almost about a year ago. It's gonna be a good shot. Nice. Um, and obviously, the Hide and Seek and Prop Hunt are coming. So I'm pretty excited. I like to keep the game fresh with different things and keep the community, uh, you know, keep giving the community, like, back to the community that I've kind of grown. Oops. But yeah. All right. I'm just going to let that game close off. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Hopefully we get some more videos with John and uh, the group, the gang of the new map. I oh, appreciate that. Yeah, so he's probably talking about the rings map. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well, the, the rings map. I'm going to try to do an impossible mode uh, on my channel, like a speed run, and see how that goes. But until next time, catch you guys later. Have a good one.